from Guangzhou University. I major at environmental education. Oh, oh no, environmental engineering. And the uh, second major is environmental education. So I'm the master student uh, learning about how to foremost uh, environmental protection behavior amongst the uh, uh, these groups or uh, or in my small groups of Guangdong group in Kalao study group. Hello. Hi. Oi. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Um, and uh, um, just a little update. I just got a message from Mary and she needs to leave uh, like in seven minutes. So we'll need to switch to her. Um, and I just have one question for her if, uh, if nobody minds. And then we'll return to self-introductions, okay? Um, so one idea was uh, maybe later on in this, maybe next week or in two weeks, we will have a webinar about final projects in this course. Um, but today, maybe we can ask very briefly, Marian, about the final projects. Uh, what, um, uh, Marian, maybe you can explain us how can community group leaders could support community group members in creating their final assignments. For example, what can we can they do already right now? For example, I'm just brainstorming, maybe meeting in groups and uh, thinking about which outcomes, first to define which outcomes they would like to describe in their final projects. And I understand that there should be just one outcome per, uh, per uh, final project. Or what else can they do like in this early stage? Okay, great question. Thanks, Alex. Um, so I think for those of you, I think most of you were just on the call where we had the three presentations. So I think if your students can start talking about, or group members start talking about their programs and some of the outcomes, and I think because they're going to have to create some sort of theory of change, but it's going to be a lot easier if they just focus on one outcome. So let's take today that we saw the um, community exchange, I think, in Kunming, where they had that closed exchange, and if you took some clothes, then you might contribute a bird watching outing in exchange for getting some clothes from somebody else. Now, you could think about maybe different outcomes from that, like, right, like environmental behavior, saving, um, you know, so you don't have to buy new clothes, etc., or maybe bird watching, nature-based education, but for that one, if it was me, I would probably take social capital because she introduced it as, I think, community civic activity or something like that. So you can imagine that if your outcome, your goal was social capital, just one, because we know there can be multiple, like Juan's presentation had lots, but I think it's gonna be easier for people to think about it if it's just one. So how does that community exchange build social capital? How does it build trust, for example, which is, an important part of social capital and how does it make connections amongst people in the community which is another part of social capital so you would have your students choose one outcome maybe go back over and review the materials about it and then think about how there are different activities it's usually more than one activity that's going to come to an outcome you can't create social capital or political efficacy in a one activity so you can think of a series of activities that are going to lead to this outcome and there might be intermediate outcomes along the way like the first event they come together exchange clothes maybe that creates some connections but maybe they do an outdoor activity together where they depend on each other to accomplish the activity that one might help build trust and then eventually you get to social capital um, if you like we can have photos of the you know uh, those of you who were on the last webinar of EE introduction course, I showed some of these diagrams um, of, and we can certainly show them 
again in an early webinar rather than wait till the end. So, you know, this is a pretty complicated one, but the idea is you have an outcome at the top and then just take the right hand pathway. The green, the things in the green boxes are the activities and the things in the white boxes all the way up are the intermediate outcomes. So each activity you can think of it has an outcome and you go up until say at the top, um, you might have social capital as your ultimate outcome. Does that make sense? Is that helpful? Yeah, I think this is, would be a, probably a great start. So for community group leaders, uh, again, uh, just from our past experiences, um, final assignments are usually a great like a tracker or something that motivates a lot of people to participate in community groups. Obviously, you have tons of other exciting activities, but final assignment because many people would like to get an expert certificate and they feel that your community group will have and be possible to, to get help from community group members on the final assignment. As instructors, we really encourage all people within community groups to support each other. So maybe what you can do this week or next week, before we go deeply into the final assignment, you can at least uh, ask all community group members, like, hey, let's brainstorm which one final outcome you would like to present in your final project. Uh, so have this discussion and maybe have a preliminary uh, discussion about how do you get to that outcome? What are different steps? So each of the members in your community group could have a, a little discussion and sharing and then maybe each other you can comment or maybe only you can comment on everybody's uh, preliminary ideas or everybody can comment on each other's and help each other by this way. So uh, make a little um, email or text or something to everybody in your group and uh, just ask, hey people, let's get started and get ready uh, for the final assignment. Let's think about which one outcome you would like to describe there. And Marion, do I have a, do ha I do have one question. Do final assignments, are they individual or let's say if two participants are in the same organization or program, can they collaborate on one or do you individual? No, people can collaborate up to three, up to three uh, people on any one assignment. Okay, so three people can be authors of one final assignment, in other words, up to three. Um, excellent. Thank you very much, Marian. It's 9.20. Thank you. you. You can go and do your other stuff. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thanks, everybody. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, and the rest of us will stay here and I have a couple of, uh, oh, let's also do just a couple of more, um, let me mute people. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Let us see maybe or hear from one or two other persons who we have today. So I'd like to have a couple of more self-introductions. Tell us your name, location, your interest in EE, and a little bit about your community group. Um, maybe I will call on, oh, Anne. Hi, Anne, can you hear us? Uh, I have unmuted you. Anne, can you speak? Yeah, hi, oh, everybody. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, I was just typing my name on the chat box. I'm Anne Hazel Javier, and I'm from the Philippines. And hi to Valerie, who's a member of our um, Outcome um, Facebook page also. So our community group, um, where I think most of the members are educators in the Philippines. Um, I'm not an, I, I don't consider myself yet as an educator, but I work in an environmental nonprofit. So I think th that's where my, my, that's the path that I'm, I'm in. So there, what else? Oh, excellent. So how many community group members you have? And you said that some other uh, leaders, like Valerie, she participates in like, how, what is the experience of um, being a member of another group? Or are you a member of some other group as well? 
Yeah, I'm actually a member of other groups as well, but I don't see them on my news feed. But I, in my group, we're, there's only like seven of us, I think, or six of us. So I feel that it's still a small group because in the beginning, I thought I heard from Marianne that there's a lot of Philippine um, enrollees to the program. Uh, so, I hope, so I sent them a message already inviting them to the group. Mm -hmm. just, Excellent. Just now actually. And since Facebook is available in your country, right? Um, maybe you can also go to the Faith Courses Facebook group and just search uh, uh, your country or maybe see other people who are from your country and then invite them individually and say, like, hey, here's the group. Feel free to yeah, but Yeah, but it's so hard to tell because their names are Spanish. Some of the Spanish sounding names are also Filipino. Oh. And so it's hard to tell which ones are Filipinos. Um, oh. <laughs> so, so how do I search them on the Facebook group? Like I type Philippines? Yes, how? because you can... So when you go to a Facebook group and on the left, under the name of the group, there will be like a search either button or like a field, like on the left. If you right. full screen, right? And you can type there uh, like Filipino, Philippines. Uh, and then if people self when they self introduce themselves, if they type the name of the country, this word, it will show up. Yeah. That's where I actually add them from, uh, from their posts oh. on the main page. But to oh. search for them on the search box, uh -huh. it does not appear. When I type Philippines, nobody actually appears. Oh. Wait, hold on. I'm going to do that again. So I need to go to the members, find the member. So this is useful for all member, for all community group leaders. So let me explore uh, in, um, explain this to everybody. So one way to recruit members to your community group, go to um, the Cornell EE Outcomes online course on Facebook. This is for those where those countries where Facebook is not blocked. Some countries is blocked, but we'll talk about this. So when you go to, and I'll send you the link right now. Uh, so, course Facebook. So this is the link. So go there, see in the chat the link. When you go there, there's a search uh, this group, right on the left. Search this group. So right now you can type, for example, we're talking about Philippines. Right, so I type there Philippines and I see like several names uh, who uh, oh, country, at least a few. Uh, they mentioned maybe they are from Philippines or maybe they traveled there or maybe actually it's, uh, <laughs> oh no, I see that there's a, a few comments from Anne. <laughs> You see, I'm already inviting them. <laughs> yeah, but there's, for example, this uh, person, uh, Kaela, is she part of your group already or not? I don't know, but she, uh, she says, hello, I am Kaela Man La Paz. I'm from Philippines. You see? Where is she? Okay, wait, I'm looking. Okay, I'm going to find them. So, okay, there. Yeah, is she a member of your group already or not? I think so, yeah, but... I'll uh, invite her, her anyways. <laughs> yeah, there's Ian, Roldan, Ian, also from Philippines, and uh, John David Pilatil, he also mentioned, maybe he traveled to Philippines or something, so... Uh, Peach, okay. Matman. Yeah, there's a few people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, but for those uh, members who are uh, community group leaders, maybe some of you are, let's say, you're interested or leading some Spanish-speaking group, so you can search here, Spanish-speaking people. Or maybe you're interested in specific ideas in environmental education or educational approaches. So just uh, this search button is really, really great. But for those who are in China, for those who are in China, maybe I could hear from somebody and um, how can you, or can you search people on uh, WeChat? So any, anybody from China, leaders, can you speak up and tell us whether it's possible to recruit Community, more community group members through WeChat. Maybe I can talk. Uh huh. Yes, Wanyin, please. 
Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, I'm on in. Uh -huh. So when you open the app of WeChat, you can see the bottle has four points. Uh, and uh, let me the... just one second because I'm trying to follow you. I'm also on WeChat. So when you go to WeChat, okay. you go to the course uh, WeChat. The group. bottom. Uh -huh. You can see the throw is discovered. Uh huh. Put the discover and the second one is uh you can see there was a a pass pass point on the right corners mm. of the up a bond. Uh -huh. You can see. Uh, put this and you can see the the second link is about adding fans. Uh huh. So you can you can search their names, or you can search the how how to say. Is it oh, possible but, but to you, search like some keywords, some terminology for or people's not like necessarily people's names, but let's say you want to find everybody who is from Xi'an. Uh, so is uh -huh. it possible if they mention Xi'an? Uh, maybe not. Uh -huh. Maybe a lot. We we can't search the people from their low locations. We can only search them from their names, their user names. Oh yeah. So yeah. But I, if think, they type, I think the if they typed in uh, in their text, if they typed uh, the, uh, this ter term or location in those posts, is it possible to search that? No, I think mm -hmm. so. The quickest way is adding the uh, course uh -huh. leaders about uh, Cornell universities and search their there was a post in their uh, how how they say it? the Cornell universities course mm -hmm. leaders will post the uh, the entrance of each uh, low location group so you can search them mm -hmm. okay uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well that's great uh, i'm so glad that we have we do have wechat because in china uh, facebook is blocked but at least this tool and this is a so wonderful tool um and by the way one of somebody i think you are young uh, uh she is trying to summarize some of the conversations that community groups or the large group um, is having on WeChat because it's mostly Chinese. So she's trying to summarize and post some those summaries on Facebook so uh, we know what's going on on, uh, on WeChat. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. And maybe we have just a um, uh, little, little time to hear from one more person. And by the way, just uh, I want to read Charlotte de Molay. Uh, she is silent because she's, I think, at work, but she says hi, and her group is Chesapeake Bay Watershed Environmental Educators, and uh, that group is on Facebook available. And by the way, everybody, so another way to recruit participants, it's just a reminder, post the link to your Facebook group, or maybe if your WeChat group has an ID, post them on the courses which up or Facebook and just have a little explanation what your group is about and welcome people to join. You can still post, it's still at the beginning of the course, so we can recruit more members just by posting the link or ID for your community group, okay? Uh, any questions so far? Um, because I'd like to hear from maybe one more person today because before we move on. Um, uh, maybe I just go from the top. Uh, Jing Wen, uh, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't pronounce uh, well. Jing Wen. Hi, Jing Wen. Uh, Jing Wen. Hi, can you hear us? Uh, Jin Wen. Oh, yes, I can hear you. Oh, can excellent, you hear excellent. So we Sarah. want just, just a super brief introduction. Uh, maybe you can remind us your name, your location, and are you a community group member if, or a leader? And how, what's your experience? 
Um, I, I was the leader of the Sichuan province group in WeChat. Um, in the group, we just share our um, some experiences about environment education. Um, and I just um, have learned a lot from the experiences. Oh, excellent. Do you have any members who, who are outside from, maybe from other provinces or maybe from abroad, not from China? And did you try to kind of involve? I'm just, you know, I, I'm always curious. We have a lot of uh, groups in China, um, but yes. um, we try to promote more communication between Chinese environmental education educators with for other environmental educators. So what is your plan? Do you, or are you thinking how to connect, maybe to connect with other leaders from around the world or help your other members to connect with other educators? Do you have any idea? In fact, in fact there are no, uh, there are all, in the groups, there are all people in Sichuan province, while oh. I am not in Sichuan province. <laughs> uh, I'm in Beijing. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm the leader, so uh, I know some local news about Sichuan province. Um, uh, about the uh, connection problem, I think uh, some 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 group members in the group uh, in the Sichuan province which have group are uh, also in other groups, so they have some connection with other members. Um, and then in the group, we also um, talk about some experience we've heard from the other groups, so we can have some connection. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And what kind of ideas are you discussing in your group, or like what's going on in, in your group? Can you tell us a little bit about experience? What kind of um, some members? Okay. What, uh, what they share? Uh, something. Uh, some, some local news about the environment, uh, some like new laws about the environment or the, their, their own environment education programs. Um, just uh, all about the members, they, they share what they want to share. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, and I hope as we approach the final assignment uh, in a few weeks, uh, maybe you can also start uh, discussing which environmental education outcomes they would like to describe in their final assignment. And feel free to, okay. to do it this week or next week. I think okay. that this will be useful. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so let me jump back into our presentation uh, just for a couple of other announcements. And we'll hear more self presentation. Um, so we'll have more self-presentations next week. Each time we will have some presentations. Um, but what I would like to discuss today, oh, maybe what kind of activities uh, do you already conduct in your group from these activities? And maybe what kind of other activities do you plan to conduct? And I'd like to have any volunteers to tell about more to tell more about what kind of activities do you conduct in your groups? Any volunteers? Uh, did we hear from uh, Wu Meng? Wu Meng? Uh, Wu, uh, I have unmuted you. Can you speak? Can you hear? Yeah, yeah I can speak. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, can you remind us, so do you lead a group or are you uh, a member of a group? Uh, I'm leading a group. Uh huh. Uh, uh, our group focuses on environmental uh, action. Yes. Environmental action. And can you remind us which uh, which location are you? Uh, I'm now in Taipei, but uh, my group member is uh, of uh, mainland China. Ah, okay. And are your members, are they topic-based, like they're interested in environmental action, so they don't have to be in from specific location? Yeah, they're interested in uh, environmental, uh, environmental action. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And is your conversation, are they in Chinese or in English? Or like, do you have people from outside of Chinese language? Uh, no, no, <laughs> I have Chinese people, all the Chinese people, and we, 
uh, speak in Chinese. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, and I, I suppose that you're using WeChat, right, for your conversations, not Facebook, because on mainland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I use WeChat. Uh huh. Well, that that's awesome. Um, that's awesome. So, uh, Wu, I'd like to see um, what kind of activities do you think to conduct, or what kind of activities do you think are most useful for your members? And maybe look at this uh, list of activities that I put on the slide. Maybe you can tell which of them you think to conduct, maybe or already conducted, or maybe what else, what kind of discussions you have. Just tell us about what's going on in your group. Okay, I think the first uh, to discuss cost materials is maybe uh, the most useful because we can't uh, meet uh, offline. Mm -hmm. So, but I think uh, the member in my group is not so active. <laughs> they didn't talk too much. Uh -huh. uh, uh, oh, you know, I, I can't force them to talk about the materials. So, uh -huh. uh, it's, uh, I think it's a, a challenge for me. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. um, yeah, so um, because your group is distributed all over China and maybe ta ta Taiwan, um, uh, it's not a local group, so probably you don't have uh, field trips or face-to-face uh, -face meetings. Yeah. Right, yeah. um, but at the same time, it's interesting that your group is not local based, but it's like based on ideas, based on interest. In this case, uh, environmental action. Yeah. So yeah. Um, maybe you could use this group as a way to strengthen professional network among those people. You could remind, yeah. for example, then when they travel and they meet each other and visit, it's a, it's always have to great to have new friends, environmental educators and those who are interested in environmental action and stewardship all over the country. How many members do you have? Uh, about 25. 25? That's a big group. That's yeah. a big group. Uh, yeah. Pretty big group. But Maybe there's some bigger, but this 25 is, is a lot. Um, it doesn't say much about whether people are very active. Maybe all of them are silent. Um, but we know... But they are too busy to... Talk about the materials in the uh, WeChat. Uh, you know, <laughs> somebody will uh, always be. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. At the same time, I do see that some WeChat groups are very uh, active, especially when you throw some controversial question or some yeah. news that is very arguable and controversial and like yeah, not. The main group and then will be like a fight online. <laughs> <laughs> or really engage into a very lively conversation. So maybe this is a method that you could use. I know that some people used this in the past. Okay. Okay. Some very controversial questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or like, what do you think about this? Should we do this or that? Or how do our policymakers should like react to that? And how do, what is the role in, of environmental education here? Or something like that. So... Uh, uh, this, yeah. This conservation is uh, helped in the main WeChat group. Uh -huh. uh, the, main, the main group uh, have a lot of conservation. <laughs> yeah. So uh -huh. I think this may be another reason for uh, the small group people didn't talk too much. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, maybe they like to talk in the uh, main group. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, great. And um, this last point, conduct, oh no, the last 14, plan the final assignment. So uh, this always works, or it works in 99% chance when you um, present, when you ask members, hey, let's help each other with the final assignment. So step one, let's think about which outcomes you'd like to present in your final assignment. So maybe you can ask this question today, tomorrow, um, all your members. Let's, let's, yeah. let's think about the final assignment. We will work on this uh, from really like from December 12th, I think that will be the last week. But uh, it's not a very easy assignment and better if we get a little bit preparation. So ask them to brainstorm different outcomes that they would like to present. So one outcome per 
a program or per person. Um, and then maybe you can also help them to think about which steps they have to take in their EE programs to mm -hmm. achieve those outcomes. So <laughs> because this is very practical, everybody, or maybe not everybody, but I don't know, maybe more than half people would like to uh, get not only achievements certificate from the five uh, first, mm -hmm. yeah. but so many would like to have expert certificate. And, uh, you know, we like we, we will need some certain pretty high quality of those assignments to be submitted. Uh, so maybe we can have a conversation. And again, we support, we like when people support each other. So maybe you can try that. Yeah, I've tried. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much. Um, all right. So, um, okay, that's the same thing. Use the final assignment in your community groups. Um, by the way, I can send you all these PowerPoint presentations so you don't have to remember all things. Um, hey, Alex. Yes. I don't know if, oh, oh, good. Okay, my, <laughs> yes. my uh, volume is working. The, um, I'm loving, I love the pathway. I love this model that we're looking at. And I think um, if we had a framework, something like this that we could share in our groups, and say, here's, you know, arrows pointing, here's what we're talking about this week. Um, you know, almost to fill in a grid so that if, um, you know, some myself even, not feeling confident enough to speak about the big picture, the ultimate un outcome, because I'm trying to learn better all of the steps that come in between, that that could be, um, a barrier to discussion just um, where we're at right now in week two we have some ideas um, but to uh, to really add value in our group and build towards this final project which I think everybody should do mm -hmm. um, that you know create I have a template of sorts similar to this I know that there's one in um, attached with the syllabus in um, in edX that I was considering using and posting and you know maybe just highlighting this is what we're talking about in this current week to focus the conversation because <laughs> because I, I my group has uh, 15 individuals in it and we're not communicating um and so i want to do, I, I want to create a conversation so that it's beneficial to me as well as everyone else oh i think this is a great suggestion so um you know the final assignment how you create how you uh show those pathways there could be so many different ways so like in this diagram diagram there's two passes through collective action and, and behavior but also they are not they don't have to be linear well first off there could be just one and linear, but this is very uh, kind of very simple. Maybe in the real world it doesn't work. Maybe there will be like three or two, or maybe there will be loops sometimes. Or maybe from this left column, something an arrow goes to the right, or so one outcome leads to some other those preliminary outcomes. So it can be a little bit mm -hmm. more complicated than this. But I do really like your suggestion, like using that easy template let's say for a conversation just for st to start you will say there will be an empty box for like define your just one outcome that the ultimate uh, desired outcome that you want and maybe like two or three boxes before that and uh, you know step by step fill in for this week right and that's going to be the first step and then maybe on week two you will say but you know it's uh, the real life it's a little bit more complicated it's different other outcomes that you can also achieve on the other sides etc some loops something something but start with a straight line one goes to another to another just you know start simple okay. and have a conversation i really like this and yes this is a great suggestion thank you so much valerie a great suggestion for everybody so all groups if you have a if you want an excellent exercise this week um, you know, you can create uh, or use uh, a template or just, you know, a template that you are comfortable with. Uh, just three or four empty boxes and you will say this is the outcome fill in and what are preliminary outcomes that you uh, built in your, through your EE program. 
uh, it's a, and then exchange those, exchange, ask people to fill in. It's just like, you know, type in three, four words there, what they're trying to achieve and through which activities. And then ask them to exchange it and maybe do it yourself first so that they will see <laughs> and they will get encouraged. They will say, oh, I need just to type five words there. That's so easy. And uh, that's going to be, and also comment on those when people submit them to you and ask them to comment to, for each other. Great. I really like this. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So I think this is almost, oh, there's a, where is the template to finish aside to, for this uh, kind of uh, assignment? So um, I, I did, um, honestly, I didn't upload it to uh, index if it exists. Valerie, where did you see it? Uh, well, I cannot hear you. We can hear you. Oh, there we go. I know. <laughs> um, so I'm seeing it um, in, in edX, but right from, let's see here, under course overview, the syllabus. Maybe, can I? And maybe, you know what, uh, I can also maybe send it to all community group leaders. Uh, if you see it first before I find it, can you email it to me? It's, uh, what it is, it's the, um, it's the course conceptual framework uh -huh. is what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. And let's see here, I don't... I send the link. I'm just. I'm not sure if the link that I would share is unique uh -huh. to me as a as a signed in user. Uh -huh. But uh, here it comes. Okay, I'm trying to see if it works for me as well. Okay. Uh, well, not maybe not right now. I don't. I don't. Okay. Uh, but anyways, I will. Uh, if this, so it's under the conceptual framework of the course, right? So yeah. I will download it to and share with everybody. But if even if you don't hear from me for any reasons, I hope you will. But if not, just create. You know, it's simple, like three boxes, and they're connected. And ask people here, put your final outcome, and here preliminary outcomes that you create through your environmental education program. Very easy. Or you, you can just ask them, hey, let's, uh, this week we, week, uh, this week we will just brainstorm which final EE outcome you will achieve and want to present. Next week you will have this uh, little exercise and the following week you will complicate things uh, and have a little bit more description. So I hope everybody got this, uh, like the overall idea of this final assignment and where we can work. And of course, obviously, probably in two weeks, we will have a very big <clears throat> webinar just about the final assignment so that everybody will know uh, more details. But it's already a good time to start to work on this. Okay, so I think this is all for today. I would like to thank all community group leaders for your terrific work. Every time I learn so many, uh, at least a few new things how to run your community groups successfully and <laughs> thank you so much if anyone has any like really really uh, burning questions right now feel free to unmute yourself or you can always email or um, do i have to hear from somebody oh it's me uh -huh. <laughs> i'm back oh yes. excellent you are uh, so, i i do want to share one thing uh -huh. if i have a sure uh, so uh, yeah, we just finished our Chinese webinar, which was great. And uh, I just want to share, like, I shared uh, a summary of uh, Chinese WeChat uh, chat history on, on Facebook. Maybe some of you already saw that. I also encourage, uh, you know, community leaders kind of do some kind of weekly summer, summary, kind of reflect on what you did 
uh, or like what your group members have in that week. So you can share that uh, summary in um, on Facebook and with us, so other people can see kind of the what kind of the the interest and uh, you know topics you covered and what kind of discussions you uh, you had in your community group. So that 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 will be a great way for. Uh, sharing information between groups. So I uh, highly encourage uh, you to do that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yuet. Um, awesome. Okay, so if anyone has more questions or comments, please feel free to jump in and unmute yourself. Otherwise, we will meet with you uh, next week. So we haven't decided for sure whether we will meet next week because it's going to be Thanksgiving week. We'll probably have language webinars uh, in definitely for Chinese and probably for uh, Spanish-speaking people. Um, but otherwise, we'll make an announcement about uh, the next meeting. Okay. Thank you again very much. Uh, I'm always available online if you have any questions during this uh, next week and during this course. And uh, UA is always available to answer questions in general for the, for the whole course. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and have a good time of the day. Uh, good night or good morning. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Oh, no, actually, we'll see you in 10 hours. Bye. Yeah, we'll okay. see you in ten hours. Don't don't uh, don't forget that the next uh, um, actually webinar will be at uh, ten uh, eight p.m. and there will be mostly different people. Juan will present again, but there will be three other presentations. So if you are interested, come back in ten hours. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Alex. Can you save the recordings and then figure out how to upload to Katura directly? Oh, so I should and okay, I will see. Mm -hmm. you, if you just uh, log in Blackboard and then upload one video, that will automatically create an account for you. So just to follow the instruction I sent earlier. Thank you. Oh, one second, one second, one second, one second. Okay, let me, can you remove those Alexis and the, okay, and then remove one, hi, bye, Yang Yun, okay, okay, great, awesome. Uh, so, what's um, Blackboard? What is Blackboard? <laughs> uh, let's, let's, can you open the instruction I sent, Ali? Did you send it by email? Uh, yes. What is K O Coltera K O? How to? How to spell this, Coltera? Oh, log in Blackboard first. Uh, Blackboard what? Blackboard com or what? Black, Cornell Blackboard. Okay, one second. Uh, Blackboard Cornell EDU, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it gives me, okay, a uh, guest or Cornell Net ID? Okay, I guess that. Cornell Net ID. Mm -hmm. Cornell Net ID. Okay, and then what did I do? Did you log in? Yes. Just uh, open the, do you do the instructions I sent? Uh, I cannot find them. You cannot. Oh, no, how to I, uh, What? From 
from Cornell Cartridge from uh, search uh, the email with uh, Brian. Brian. From Cornell Blackboard Cultura oh. to edX Edge. Did you say that? I search Blackboard. My email. Oh, I see, I see, I see. November 15. Okay. okay, download that file. Okay. But you want, you want to use uh, something not Google Chrome to... Okay, I don't use Google Chrome. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we, had, uh, we had 30 participants on Chinese webinar. 30. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I think people really want to get engaged. Oh. Alex, I'm going to Cuba. Wow, do you have to get a visa or what? It's just a, a tourist card at the gateway. Oh, okay, nice, very nice. Who goes with okay. you? A friend, a few friends. Mm, wow. Come. There. What? When do you fly there? How do you get tickets like in, from the US? Like in the US, there's no good relationships. Is it possible? Yeah, but they have a direct flight from Miami to uh, Havana. And how do you buy tickets from some US uh, websites or some other websites? Yeah, Is it? the Delta, just the Delta website. Oh, nice. And how to order hotels, etc. cetera? Uh, Airbnb. Oh, so they have internet in Cuba. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> when do you there? What? When do you go there? How long are you gonna be uh, there? So okay, let me tell you my travel plan. I will fly to Orlando on December twenty fourth, and then spend the Christmas in Orlando, like you know, theme park. Uh huh. Nice. Universal Studio, and then, and then fly from anyway. So and then go to Miami and the Everglades, the Key West. And, and then how long do you think I should spend in Everglades? Um, we've been there for two days and it was more than enough. Like if you go to different locations, there's like three locations there in the different areas, like very long distance drive. You can take, just pick one coastal location where there will manatees and go there's pretty nice in the north with a lot of crocodiles and alligators and with a good tower to see so the swamp Two okay one very inland and one in the on the whatever is more convenient or closer to the shore okay what about key west go to the very end yes i Just know and okay so on the one of the keys that are some in the beginning um you can dive for like coral, coral reefs uh the uh, snorkeling easy always maybe in winter too so pretty nice not as tropical as like really tropical <laughs> there kind of, but pretty good very very good impression and drive awesome. also, of course to the very very end this is maybe one of the most beautiful drives in the whole US. Hopefully they recovered from all these hurricanes. They probably already because it's been some long time, but great. So how many days are you gonna be out like in the rest of, for Florida? How long uh, Florida? What's that? How long are you gonna be in Florida? Uh, just the December uh, uh, 24th to the end of the year. So mm -hmm. at a week, mm -hmm. so it will be three days in Orlando and then another three days in uh, Miami and Key West. So you know, where should I stay? Is there a place to stay in Key West? Yes, there's, we didn't stay in Key West. We stayed in some of the keys, like in the mid, mid, closer to Miami. So we did drive like the whole day and, and stayed a little bit closer where they have coral reefs. Oh, okay. So do you recommend a way stay in Key West for a night or just need to drive there and see and come back? See and come back. So you stay, I will tell you where you stay. 
Uh, it's another key, but closer to Miami. How many people go like on this road trip part? <coughs> so far two. About so it's Key Largo. That's where we stayed in Key Largo, but we drove all the way to Key West. And what take is it Key Largo? Uh -huh. There's many. There's many options for. Uh, it's like halfway between Miami and Key West, Key Largo. It's a like. Oh, so here's a place you dive, right? Yeah, there's like many options for diving, uh, for snorkeling. We didn't dive; we snorkeled. Snorkel. What is snorkel? It's like with the mask that you don't dive deep. It's like you're on the surface, but you still you kind of. Uh, okay. It's not very deep there, so maybe there's no really super diving there. It's shallow, so this is enough. Go kill it. Yeah. I don't know, maybe there's some options in the Key West also for snorkeling. I don't know, search. But I know that Key Largo is one of the most important points on this range for um, snorkeling. And it's not too, you know, it's like not terribly far like if next day you decide to go back to maybe Everglades or Miami etc so from there it's easier but definitely day trip if they open already if they restore to those roads after hurricanes to Key West nice very nice huh, okay awesome okay and so then it's, it's, uh, till the uh, uh, end of the year and then first of January you fly to Havana no, just the end of the year, like the 31st, the morning of 31st, oh. and uh, fly to Havana and then to celebrate New Year in Havana. How many, and then, how many people in Havana with you? Uh, one so far. We may get a few more. Let's see. Uh, how many days? I want to go with you. How many days? <laughs> From 31st. Um, December 31st to January 7th. So it's one week in Cuba. Wow. You definitely will go to countryside as well, right? And beaches. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so we will, I, I think one week. And so we, we, we fly back to Ithaca on January 7th, which is a Sunday. So I can start working on January 8th. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Wow, great plan. <laughs> wow, Alex, come to Havana. Okay, I'll I think. Say Havana. I'll think. <laughs> let, me, let me check the flight. Let me check the, your flight. Well, yeah, if I, you know, I will not go this time because if uh, it just, you know, if I need to go to Ithaca one or two months later, you know, it just doesn't make sense to fly here and then back and here and back. I'll make Havana. Havana, Havana, Havana. Oh, okay. It's kind of uh, more expensive during New Year. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so okay. So I, you are uh, for the what? uploading. Let's go back to the uploading, though. So when I'm on uh, Blackboard, I don't see my media, or is it like uh, you need to add your media? Where? Look at my instructions. Yeah, I'm looking at them, and there's no My Media module. You will need to add module. Oh. There's no even like add module on the top left. Mission works. I don't believe it. Okay, here you see my screen. Yes, I do. Mm, and add module, and then there must be module. Module is a video, for example, right? Here, my media. You see? You need to click add module. And then you'll see a list of stuff. And then scroll down to find my media. I found it. 
And add it. Just add it. Okay. And then when you go back to your blackboard, and then you will see this my media. Maybe yours will be at the bottom. Do you see that? Oh yes. Okay, and then go to my media. Okay. And then here, you can uh, upload, add new, upload a new video. You see that? Uh huh. So you just uh, upload the webinar. Okay, and how do people get? Uh, uh, can they see? So when you add the video, for example, this one, right? Uh huh. And then. Wait a second, it's slow. Huh. And then, when you add this one, you add it, and then on the editing mode, it's a collaborate, and you add me as a collaborator. Uh -huh. Or, under edit under this view mode, there's a button to share, right? Uh huh. Okay, here is the editing mode. And the editing mode, you can do a lot of things. You can do collaboration. Do you see that? Uh huh. And then you add me as a collaborator by adding my um ID. Okay. User ID. And then. You can do a bunch of other things. Once you're done, go back. And then, this is a view mode, okay? And under this video, this is share. Did you see that? Yes. And then if you click share, then you will get this code, right? Oh, okay. And then, in this code, there's only one unique stuff is ID uh -huh. so copy that ID let me know give me that ID then I will I can I just need that ID to insert this video to edX edge oh okay 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 excellent okay <laughs> I need to go okay Okay, thank you, Yue. So I will tomorrow, as soon as we, oh, today, as soon as we finish the second webinar, I'm going to upload it. Okay, for the second webinar, we're not going to have a Chinese uh, thing. We're not going to have a Chinese presentation after. Uh, you will or you will not? Will not. Okay, 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 okay. That's Maybe let's say if people request. Uh -huh. I think it, it went down well. When we have Chinese um, webinar, people feel they are a, a part, they feel they are part of the community, you know. Otherwise, if they feel a little bit excluded uh, only in, in English webinar. Oh, they feel a little excluded. Yeah, because uh, they don't understand. So they they are a little bit scared, or uh, like they don't feel comfortable to join English webinar. But for Chinese webinar, they are more relaxed. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. you did it now because it's evening in China, which is good time for that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Yue, thank you so much for the instructions for the uh, blackboard. And I'm thank glad you. you are making a New Year uh, trip. This is awesome. You deserve it. I hope you can join me. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Sometime, maybe not this one, but in the future. Awesome. Okay. Okay, great. I'll talk with you soon. Have a good night. So, um, another thing I'm thinking about. Um, so you, you now you have time to review some projects, right? Uh huh. Yes. Tomorrow I will deal with this. Well, my. You said it's Thursday. This. Oh, okay. It's your night. Okay. So. 
We have a 40 left. Oh, so your uh, this grading party, this was like you and TAs work together, right? In grading. Yeah. So okay. we have 40 left. You, you, and you, um, you probably, so just to go on your edX edge and to see if you are still getting the same project. If you do get the same project and then that, that girl is uh, already emailed you the project, right? Uh -huh. Instead, you can't download. And then I think somebody got it and already graded that one you got. And then you may likely to get a new one. So just continue. If you have Chinese things coming up, just let me know. Anyway, when you have a chance to grade, let me know. And then we can see how, how you can help. Okay, excellent. All right. Bye. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Talk soon. Bye.